Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 46 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, since I maxed out Guan Yu's rank and got a fourth equipment slot, he also got some new attire. And that would be his Dynasty Warriors 3 outfits. Why does he look tanned in this one? He doesn't in the others. Okay, fine, I'll get him this one. Alright, so we're gonna go over our equipment here, because, you know, why not? And I'm gonna give him the Peacock Urn, just for an extra bit of health. And you know what, I think I'm gonna change my orb as well. So, I don't really need that anymore. Let's go with the Lightning Orb, it's at level 3. Since I don't need any more weapon experience, I figured the Lightning Orb be much better for clearing out crowds. First, we will all attack Ling Ling. Isn't that then, Selma's baby from The Simpsons? Go to you know, the adoptive Chinese kid? To Wu Ling. <laughs> I, will destroy them all. I don't even understand why I shoved out wrong at the sound like that. Make him sound so diabolical, like he's some evil demon lord. It makes no sense. Why have him like that? Nice lightning. Oh, there's the officer. I just rush right in there and take the finishing blow. He's like, thanks guys, I'll take the credit now. Alright, let's take the first castle. It should be in here. Jeez, Lou Do. Is he a little violent or something? Do the do? <laughs> ah, damn it, I was gonna use lightning! How could you? And now we got some slow down. You know what'll cure slow down? Killing things! And what do you know? It works. There's a close tie between the uh, Peacock Urn or the Elixir I was going to take with me. Had it not been for some extra items I need to upgrade, I would not be taking the 7-star Sash at all. I can just replace it with something else. However, since I would like to upgrade items, I'm still taking it with me. Oh my god, why are you so frustrating to hit? Ugh, he's still in it. My god, it, it's harder because almost every single hit's knocking him down. So he can't even do combos. I was afraid we were going to go to the other side of the map before this guy dies. Or maybe end up in Chicago or something. I don't think that city was around in the, the early 3rd century, though. So that kind of renders my remark a bit nonsensical. But again, most of my remarks are like that. That's what makes them funny. Alright, so I'm going to go for Castle 2. Open the gates. I can't believe it was that simple for everyone else. Uh, dude, I'm going you. Liu Bei actually is nothing compared to me. With all due respect. Can you see Liu Bei do that? Okay, some other castles are opening their gates. It allows us to get in there. Huh. That was simple. Enemy officer defeated. Jeez, we're just tearing some ass here. I yield to you, Bay. All troops stand down. Oh good, his troops have surrendered, so we don't have to worry about them. Alright, so we got two out of warlo two of four warlords defeated. I'm gonna head back to my main camp because something else is gonna happen. I'm quite prepared for. 
Once Jao Fan actually retreats, then the event should trigger. This one just gonna destroy some guard towers in the meantime. Ah, oh, there they are. They're coming. They're actually Jaho Yuan's and Sao Ren's troops. And engage the enemy reinforcement. My blade shall deal with you. Uh, I'm going to decline this duel. It's a bit midway through the battle. I know a lot of you guys like to watch me duel, but I gotta decline this for my sanity's sake. Because this is actually the second take of this episode, and I lost to Jaho Yuan. And it was going so close, too! He caught me in a combo, so I couldn't use my true Muso attack, and as a result, I died. He was practically down to the wire. I gotta stop using that final charge move, because Sauron always blocks it. Well, standard officers always block it. It's better off for crowds than anything else. Let us go as well. Where's Jaho? Oh, there he is. God, I wish the uh, right analog stick could just be used for the camera angles like you could in the other games after this. Not immediately after this, but sometime after. Stop. Thank you, bodyguards. You should be thankful I don't need any more weapon experience, because I probably would have been disappointed you stole that from me. I just need that guy gone. Okay, the third warlord should be next, and it's by the south river. Or south of the river, rather. It looks like some of our troops are already advancing on that spot. What's next, uh, Jin Xuan? We're there. You don't stand a chance against me! <laughs> okay, I'll accept this one. If I lose to a generic officer, then you know what? I'm just gonna throw in the towel. Hey, dude, I'm over here. If we draw, then you know what? I'm gonna be pissed. Thank you. My dueling still needs some polishing. Alright, that sped things up in our little bit of conquest. Pitching province. Oh, there's the dim sum if you need it. We came all the way from Luo Castle. Might as well make ourselves useful. Uh, that's nice, Pong Tong. That's very sweet of you. Oh, Han Shuan's still over there. All right, we're on our way. Hopefully, they still have quite a few enemies for us. We can easily bash. I bet you there's some archers on these towers. Oh, apparently no. Then I'll just seal this uh, stronghold. I'll make myself useful. Alright, so far so good. Where is Han Xuan anyway? Okay, Huang Zhang's over there, Wei Yan's over there, and Han Xuan's over there. Speaking of Huang Zhang and Wei Yan, we're gonna be dealing with them later, but at least our characters we can unlock in this mission. We just have to defeat them. That's easier said than done because they're stronger. Two of them are. For some reason, they're not opening the gates on us. Oh, not nice. Yep, there's definitely gotta be some archers in that guard tower. They're being pelted at nonstop. I, 
I still don't understand how they can land on their feet. It's like they're being dropped violently, and yet they can land and still be ready to fire. Another guard tower with archers. I hate them so much. Oh, especially getting interrupted like that. Thanks, guys, for joining in on the offense. Is there another guard tower? Yeah, it's that one. Perfect. That should open things up for us a little bit. Oh, I didn't even see the officer over there. Okay, now the gates have opened. This is where the shit hits the fan. Wong Zhong and Wei Yan are going to be charging at us. And I'm definitely not dueling him, he's much stronger in this mission. So hopefully Wei Yan's not coming at us. We're gonna be pelted with arrows at infinitum until they're defeated. Remember, Huang Zhang is a very high quality archer. So of course he's gonna have archers with him. But believe it or not, you can actually finish this level one of two ways. One, you defeat the uh, other warlord, like Han Xian. The other way is by defeating Huang Zhong without defeating uh, Wei Yan. And then something else will happen. Oh, he was using his own Musou. How the hell do you break that deadlock from uh, Musou's anyway? So you see that every time I press buttons, they always win. Maybe it's not square you have to press repeatedly for that. I bow to your skills. Oh, that charge attack is lethal. Oh, God. Why do you have to say this like you're such a relaxing guy? Hopefully we can beat him. Remember, his attack is powered up. Good. We just simplified things a lot. I may be out of air. Now we'll just wait around a little bit. Good thing Wei Yan has not been triggered. Just wait it out. Kill some troops while you're at it. Wang Zhang, you call yourself a warrior? You dare think to betray me? Oh, wait, wait! Yeah, scum! You, Bei. You, master. And of course, Wang Zhang and Wei Yan will join us! Remember, Han Xuan has been killed by Wei Yan, so we win! So we could have gotten the finishing blow on Han Xuan, or let our new allies do that for us. Good thing we picked the latter. And too bad Pator's Amulet did not get upgraded. That would have been so nice. So Huang Zhang is unlocked, and so is Wei Yan. Awesome! If things go according to plan, by finishing this act, we'll have at least four new characters. And we got two of them right now. By taking Jing, Liu Bei had secured his rear guard. Liu Bei then begins his campaign into the Yi province by mobilizing his forces west and taking Luo Castle. Chengdu is now within his grasp. For Liu Bei, the path is now clear. In order to restore the Han Dynasty, Liu Bei needed a rich foundation on which he could build his own kingdom. With the provinces of Jing and Yi as his home base, Liu Bei could create a kingdom equal to that of Wei and Wu. Thus, the era of the Three Kingdoms would begin. And this is where this video actually ends! In the next episode, we're going to do the campaign for Chengdu and defeat Liu Zhang once and for all. But another new character that we can unlock will definitely try to stop us. Goodbye, everyone.